I remember sometimes when LBJ would want me to talk to him at night because he'd be lonely and I had had a date and I'm thinking, oh, do I really want to talk to this guy at night instead of going out on a date? <laughs> and I think, thank God, most of the time I said, yes, I will. <laughs> um, but, you know, the, you, your, your perspective is, is somewhat undone at that time. You know, it's what, it was really later that I realized what a privilege it was because he was vulnerable in those last years of his life. He knew that the war in Vietnam had cut his legacy in two, but he knew what he had accomplished in civil rights. We're getting it now. I mean, that's the thing that makes me sad. If only he'd lived long enough to see 50 years later that the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act and the Fair Housing Act that, and Medicare, I mean, he, he left his stamp on the country. But at that time, he was so sad that he spent hours talking to me that he never would have if I'd known him at the height of his power. So I just happened to be there, luckily, and it was perhaps that I was a young woman, it was perhaps that I was loving history, whatever it was that allowed him to choose me to spend so many hours with. Um, sometimes I think it was just because I loved listening to his stories, you know, and they were so incredibly interesting, even if I discovered later that half of them weren't true. So I think part of it was that he liked the fact that I liked listening to his tall tales. I also worried that part of it was that I was a young woman, but that, that, and one day he took me to the lake saying he wanted to discuss our relationship, which sounded ominous because the lake was called Lake Lyndon Johnson, and we had wine and cheese and a red check tablecloth, all the romantic traffic, and I thought, oh my God, here it comes. And he started out Doris more than any other woman I've ever known, and my heart sank. And then he said, you remind me of my mother. <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing, <laughs> given what was going on in my mind. <laughs> Suddenly you realize you actually kind of did want him to be interested in you. <laughs> right. I mean, this was what? terrible. 